What is up guys, Trevor here in Mobile, Alabama at Gamers and Geeks. We're here with Jeremy, he's a member of G&G &G Elite. We're gonna ask a couple questions and get to know him. Are you ready? All right, what's up? All right, so how did you get into TCGs in general? Uh, it was way back when Yu-Gi-Oh first hit the market and when the anime was blowing up. And I think I was in middle school, like, it was like 2002, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Long time. Oh, hell. <laughs> Old fart. Yeah, so that anime just made me get into it. I played that since recently for a couple of years, like 15 fucking years. Ah, Ooh. Yeah, so I've been playing since I've been playing for a while. So. Nice. Okay, so why Dragon Ball uh, Super over any other TCG right now? The reason I chose Dragon Ball was like amazing anime. We all grew up with it. So you can't just not say you don't know what it is. Until Yu-Gi-Oh was going on a route I really didn't agree with. And it didn't, basically you just had it. Everybody didn't know what they wanted to do. And the company just did whatever made them the most money at that point. So player base was pretty much ignored. And Bandai, they sit there, they actually get it wrong, they listen, and they take notes. They might not do it immediately, but they do it. <laughs> so that's why. All right. So, uh, Dragon Ball Super, uh, what is your favorite card and why? My favorite card, because it recently just came out, is Gogeta. He's my favorite character from the anime. Always has. And it's just, I, love, I love the design, I love the attitude of it, and I'm glad the movie coming out. Yeah. He has a lot more time. He's fucking canon now. Yep. So that's a plus. He's got his own movie. Yeah, he got his own movie. <laughs> Cause right. yeah, my friend he loves Vegito and every time we play the games we'll just fight those two and hit him with that you're not canon though. So yeah, suck it. All right. <laughs> um, what is your favorite DBS TCG memory? Uh, my favorite memory when we was up here at Locals and it was just set one so everybody was at the same level skill. And it was a game I had, my opponent had, I can't even remember his name, I haven't seen him. He was at his two life, I was at my one. He emptied my eye wasted all my resources just to survive that previous turn and I had the one drop Goku that searches Goku's and I topped it the seven drop Goku can't think of his name it's a seven drop Goku basically you just evolve they can't counter attack they can't declare blockers and you just swing for free Ooh. wow that was funny <laughs> seems rough oh, for your opponent you know, he was mad <laughs> I he was mad he exhausted all his resources trying to kill me. Yep. So he had empty hands so he just top deck. So that was fun. Top deck's always good. Yeah, top decks always feel good. Alright, the final question is uh, what do you bring to the team? Uh, I bring creativity. I've been playing card games for years. And I've seen a lot of ideas come and go. I'm constantly brewing. I'm constantly thinking of combos. I look ahead pretty far pretty far in the future and with this segment come out with possibilities. I always constantly, literally 24-7 because of my job literally up all the time. Dragon Ball brewing. It's fun. You get yeah, addicted. It you get sucked oh, in. You get sucked in pretty hard once you get going. And it's just the bad house good couple to take care of us. Alrighty, well if you guys have any more questions for Jeremy, please comment them down below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Peace!